Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Plans, She Budgets. In today's video, we'll be budgeting out my paycheck number two, so let's get started. All right, so I'm going to be using um, Paycheck Budget Kit from Erica Life Vlogs, and I'm going to put it behind my paycheck number one. So let me take this white out. All right, so here are my stickers. I may not need to use these, but I'm definitely gonna use this and this. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the washi. Start from the back end. little bit of a struggle all right got it put down paycheck number two strip which is so cute at the little cash deco which I love All right. Now for the income source, which will be from my full-time job, and I'll be getting paid this money on February 21st. Full-time on 2-21. And um, like I've done in my last paycheck video, I'm using the amount column for my expected and the rollover column for my actual. So for expected, I'm gonna keep it the same as last time, $2,130. And then once I get the actual, I'll put it here. And I'm gonna leave a spe space for any miscellaneous or rollover money that I may receive for that pay period. I'm going to go ahead and close it on up. So right now I'm not expecting any um, miscellaneous or rollover money. So I'm going to write the total as 2130. Okay. Now for my bills and expenses. zoom in just a little bit okay so my first bill will be for um, utilities utilities and the um, amount I am supposed to pay is $209 I did already receive the email notification that my amount has gone up from 179 to 209 and that is because I'm on the equal payment plan with my utility company and is based off the last six months. So in the last six months, they averaged that I need to go up 30 more dollars a month, which is fine because um, as long as the next six months, which is be February to July, and they recalculate it, they recalculate it every six months, but the program is yearly. It'll probably go back down because it's about to get warm soon and I can turn my heat off so there's that and then next is phone number two and that is estimated at 136 dollars okay so those two bills are for february the next um set of bills are for march which are which are due on march 1st which is my mortgage 
and that is $1,314.92. After that is my Scribble Prince Co. Alterate Mystery Kit subscription, and that will be $33.25. And then lastly for March 1st is my Verizon bill, and that will be $109.89. I've also received a notification for Verizon that my new monthly total is $109.89. So that has went down by 56 cents. And um, in case you hear any background noise, I have my cat moving around and there's some neighbors outside my window making noise. So I apologize for whatever you may hear. So let's total up the bills. So that is 209 plus 136 plus 1314 92 plus 3325 plus 109.89. So I'm looking at $1,803 and six cents as my total. So one thousand eight hundred three dollars and six cents for the total of bills and expenses. Okay. Next for savings and cash. And for that, I just have one expense, which is my personal fund and this will be my bi-weekly amount of $250 and that is it I don't have anything else to take cash out for because I do um, my cash envelopes and sinking funds once a month and those normally line up with my first paycheck so this will be a total of $250 All right, let me zoom out just a little. So next is the paycheck breakdown. And then I'm gonna put down the remaining one, two, three. Okay, <clears throat> so my total income for expected is $2,130. And then I'll write my actual right here. Total for bills and expenses is $1,803.06. And I'll write the actual there. So one, two, three, four or exact, the phone bill is an estimate. So this number will change slightly. And then next for savings and cash, that will be $250 for my personal. And that will be exact, but I'll write it down when I do my results video. Okay, so let's total this up to see what I'll have remaining. So if I take 2130 for income minus $1,803.06 for bills and expenses and then 250 for savings and cash, that will leave me with $76.94. So 76 94 is the amount that will go towards my debt snowball to pay off my um, Great Lakes loans. And I think, I think majority of this will go to the principal balance of my Great Lakes loan number four and some will go to interest. 
because my um, last payment should have taken care of the um, remaining outstanding interest that was like, I think I started at $200 and I made a $76 payment and then I made an additional payment. All right. So that is basically it for this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.